Okay, let's read it all out loud uh, and, and read the screen with me. Ready? What you believe about eternity determines how you live today. That's the premise of this series. that most people in most churches that do not read the Word of God, they do not pursue God, they do not grow in their faith, they do not understand eternity at all, they don't understand, even think about it, they've fallen for all of the lies of the enemy. Their faith is a house of cards on a few little small things that they sort of think they know and what the pastor said and what they, their family told them what to believe and all the little things that they have and then one thing comes along, one storm comes along, one person comes along and flicks one of those cards out and their faith crumbles to the ground. And that is not the faith that we've been given because our faith comes from an unshakable kingdom of God. And it's filled with power and grace and love and confidence and assurance. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid of what somebody thinks. We don't have to be afraid of what somebody else believes. We have an unshakable kingdom. You and I are the sons and daughters of God. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. As we as a church pray together right now, for those that have raised their hand, I just want them to, to say a simple prayer in their heart. The simple prayer that, God, I cannot do this anymore on my own. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sins and that you rose again to give me victory in this life and to live with you forever. God, I want to surrender my life to you and live for you only. And if you said that prayer, God, I'm, I, as we as a church rejoice with you, we celebrate with you that your, your eternity will no longer be in confusion. Your eternity will no longer be a question in your mind. Thank you so much for those who made the decision of salvation in your name, Jesus. Amen.